So late in the morning on Monday, the moon will pass between the sun and earth. The last total eclipse was in 2017, but this one is unique. 13 fact finder Brooke Wagner is here to tell us why. Brooke. Hi, Valerie. Well, the totality portion is going to be longer and the sun is going to shine brighter this time around than it usually does. And in fact, it's so unique that scientists all around the world are launching experiments because of the rare conditions. But what about our conditions for viewing here in southern Arizona? The moon's shadow will cover the sun, trailing a dark swath across Mexico, the United States, and Canada. Arizona is on the fringes. But 13 News checked with NASA, and though we won't see the sky go completely black, we will see it get much darker. It'll be about uh, 100 miles wide, and it'll be passing all the way from Texas to Maine. This is the area where the moon will block the entire solar disk. That's called totality. Elsewhere in the contiguous U.S., you will see what is called partial solar eclipse, where only a part of the moon covers the solar disk. That includes Arizona. Fact finders asked 13 First Alert Chief Meteorologist Aaron Christensen to get even more specific on Southern Arizona peak viewing. And here are those times specifically for Tucson and the forecast for our solar eclipse. So the partial eclipse begins at 10.06. Then we'll see the maximum eclipse at 11.19. Now keep in mind that 75% of the sun is going to be eclipsed. Again, that time is 1119. The eclipse will then end by 1236 in the afternoon. Right now we're calling for partly cloudy skies and 71 degrees for that eclipse. Aaron says there are a couple of big reasons you don't want to miss this event. Yes, about 75% of the sun will be covered, but also the sun will be near peak activity, appearing even larger and spikier, and Tucson won't see a comparable eclipse until 2045. But now, 2024, we are at solar maximum, uh, where the sun is at its maximum level of activity, so that we will be able to see a lot of dynamics taking place in the solar atmosphere during the, the totality itself. The last eclipse in 2017 brought minimum solar conditions. This time, scientists can see the solar atmosphere itself. That bright activity makes the eclipse more wondrous and dangerous. The only time it's safe to view is when the whole sun is blocked, and that won't happen in Arizona. So looking at any part of the bright sun peeking from behind the moon through a camera lens, binoculars, sunglasses, or a telescope without a special filter will instantly cause eye injury. That image permanently burned onto your retina. It happens to dozens of people every eclipse. Certified eclipse glasses are starting to sell out, and there are lots of fakes. But there's another safe way to watch, with a pinhole projector. It lets the sun shine through, reflecting an inverted image. And these are so easy to make. You can use a couple of index cards or cardboard or even a couple of paper plates. You'll just make a smooth hole with like a pin or a thumbtack in one plate. The other one acts as your screen. You'll hold them about shoulder level with the sun behind you. And then you'll get that reflection down here on the other plate. And if you want to make it bigger, you just spread the plates farther apart like that. We have a lot more information, including our 13 News investigation on those fake glasses and how to tell if the ones you have are real. That's with this story on KOLD.com. And Aaron, it's really great to have you in Fact Finders. Thank you for helping us explain sure. what's going on. Hopefully that weather will hold.